Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at another reaction involving alcohols. And this reaction we're going to have a look at now is about the oxidation of alcohols to turn them into carboxylic acids. Okay, and um, we need to remember that when we talk about oxidation, what this means is that we are adding oxygen. Okay, now for our equations, this is how we're going to, we're just going to represent the oxygen as this. This is, is, this is representing what we call a oxidizing agent but for GCSE we don't need to go into detail beyond beyond just saying it's an oxidizing agent and we just represent it as an O in a square bracket okay so this first example let's have a look at it we've got ethanol so ethanol I'm going to do the structure first I think it's sometimes easier to do it that way so there is my um, ethanol ethanol remember is two carbons the fact it's an O means it's an alcohol, means it's got a functional group that is an OH, okay? And from that, we can then work out this formula. So it's CH3, CH2, and then OH is the formula, okay? We're reacting it with this oxidizing agent, so we can put that in. And we said it's making, ethanol is going to make a carboxylic acid, and it's going to make ethanoic acid. So ethanoic acid is two carbons. Remember this second carbon needs to have this functional group, COOH, and then we put our H's on here to give us four bonds. So this is CH3COOH, okay? And when it's doing this reaction, it's also going to produce um, water, H2O. Okay, and there is my H2O that is being produced. Um, there's a good example of when this happens. So actually this is, is alcohol, as we call alcohol, like in wine. And this is actually here, vinegar. And you might have heard people say that they've taken a drink of, of some wine and it tastes horrible, it tastes like vinegar. This is because the, the alcohol has been left open, the oxygen's got in, and the alcohol's been oxidized to turn it into vinegar. So that's why you always seal the wine bottles back up after you've taken a drink to prevent the oxidation happening. Let me just give you one more example um, of this so we can just illustrate it for you. So here is a uh, another one here. So this one is using methanol. So methanol is um, one carbon and then we've got our functional group to give us an alcohol. So that is CH3OH. Then we've got our oxidizing agents. Now, because it's methanol, it is going to make methanoic acid. Methanoic acid has got just one carbon, which is part of the functional group. Therefore, it's going to have just one bond left, which is the H. So this is HCOOH, and we still get our water on the end. So again, Alcohol being oxidized to form a carboxylic acid. Uh, in this example, it's methanol making methanoic acid.